Hello guys, welcome to Napoleon Total War, as I'm gonna give you guys another um, Napoleon Total War multiplayer replay. As you guys can see, I have a lot left to record for my historical battles, and maybe another in a multiplayer battle right here, and then Waterloo is part of the historical battles. Uh, you guys will see that soon, but let's go to this 3v3 on Aosta Valley. You guys can see close loss, unfortunately, but this is a really, really... Though I don't do as well as I usually do. As you guys can see, my team is based of Smack Mayak and Morris, and then defenders Carter, Sal, Fernando, and... There you go. Oh, the rain. Just beautiful, isn't it? So there's the old guard already. I'm going to fast forward it until the end of the deployment phase. So you guys can see my standard um, units from now on are based of three chasseurs, H of Val. Other one's over there. Four bolt gears, two old guard, one young guard, and the rest being fusiliers. Actually, I think, no, I have two militia. Damn this weather, sir. Two militia. Wet powder makes misfires a certainty. As you guys can see, two militia units right here. So I can tell the deployment phase still hasn't completely started yet. I must have because I've already moved some stuff. Yeah, yes, here I am forming up my voltage gears right here. Basically into a giant blob for now. So you can see smack my ack over here. Not too old guard. So far as I see, sure's H Val. It looks like he has Polish Guard Lancers, Carabiners, and one Chasseurs H of Al. It looks like four Chasseurs. Then he also has Grand Battery of con the Convention. Good artillery unit. Polish Legion, Polish Legion. So four Polish Legions. General Staff. Yeah, the two old guard over here. So that rounds out his army. Then we'll move to our Ottoman ally, which has a lot of basically credit infantry. That's all there really is to it, and some rifles. Some of those armies over here also. Some more credit rifles. And yeah, some Slachla Guard. No, no, I'm not going to butcher that name. I'm going to attempt it. Butcher it even more. The rest of it being credit infantry. We'll move back over to my side, and we'll. See my Amy as a push back to play. Is my um enemy I'm going against has a couple of King's German Legion light foots. And most of his army is basically conserved a foot, which is usually how the armies go these days. And light dragoons. He's gonna send a couple of them into the town, but most of them are gonna go on to where I am. Because I forgot to show this section over here. He's got some more King's German Legion, Light Dragoons, 80th Cannot Rangers, 5 inch howitzer, a yes, couple foot guards, cold stream guards, and some light foot. So that rounds out his army. Let's go to the French player on the other side. Some 5e e Hussards. Some Empress Dragoons. That's all I really see for Cav at the moment. Oh, there's another one over there. Grassiers. As the other enemy British player comes in, I'll show you guys that in a minute. See, this French player has some Polish Legion, Swiss Foot, another Polish Legion, Young Guard, a couple more, another Young Guard, and an Old Guard. So, as I see right now, some definite Highland Foot units, quite a few of them, and some rifles. So I'm seeing, and a lot of the Army is going over here. A lot of, a lot of Highland foot. He's certainly going to spend out the Highland foot. A couple more rifles. And a lot of foot too at the same time. So only about three of his units are going to come over here. Which are a couple of, high, one more Highland, two Highland foot, and a King's German Legion foot. Is the battle's already about to start over here? Pretty much. These um, rifles are about to start opening fire on my friendly Ottoman. 
That's the first shots fired in this battle so far. Obviously, the Ottomans are not going to do too good against the UK, but you'd be surprised what happens later in this battle. So I moved up a lot of my infantry. Like I said, mostly based of Fusiliers. We're moving to my Chasseurs, H of L. Another Fusilier line behind them. So I basically made this position up here. The one unit's gonna go up there. Not gonna do too good up there. I guess I'll fast forward it a bit. This is, a, this is another one of those longer battles to take place. Is my allied Ottoman kind of chased off the British at the moment? Or is just rushing his three units over the other side? As the Ottoman basically kind of shrinks him into one position, it looks like. I never did pay attention to this side of the battle when we were playing. But I see right now that the Ottoman basically encircles the British player. Which I believe is Morris. Then my... Allied Smack My Yak is making his position into the town. Just kind of already made it up here. So my Chasseurs, H of Val, are gonna go up on this hill. Send a couple of them up there. Just kind of chase off this foot, light foot at the same time. This guy is going to play a lot of the tuck and roll, fire a couple volleys, fall back during this whole entire battle. Just kind of what I get annoyed at, but it's an understandable tactic. Just going to get annoying after a while. But it's going to be a standstill of who's staring at who for about 5-10 minutes. Maybe less than that. So far, the main combat so far is over here. For some reason, oh, he formed square because of the Ottoman calf. So the Ottoman's going to basically waste his cab. Morris is going to get his calf slaughtered by the squares. It's pretty much everything in the area is squared. And he charges up. No, that's my ally, Polish Guard Lancers. Charges up into these rifles. Makes them retreat. Is the British player and France player just kind of swarm the town, which is where most of the dots are at the moment, except for where my flank is, which is not looking too pretty at the moment. I should have just maybe tried to charge them with my chasseurs, but I never did do that. I would have charged my lineup at the same time if I would have. Not too much combat is happening right now, except for this little area. The Ottoman player, Morris, actually does get a bit of a charge off, but yet again to a square, which is bound to happen. You can kind of see, kind of got floored it over here. These all these squares. Can I might just sirs charge back at these? Light foot, go about 15 losses. Also doing team killing, and then these stupid five-inch howitzers just start firing at me. That's going to be the main problem in this battle, unfortunately. They will live pretty much till the end. Try to get rid of them, it's never worked. This combat in the town has started. First shot in the town, the first bloodshed. It looks like some rifles are finally routed. Is the um, Morris is um, doing some definite damage to the British player. He still has a lot of units on this side over here. He's gonna bring him around here and just basically flank the British player. That's kind of when the combat over here gets close to starting. So I just continue to move my flank up. Just basically my line. I still have a lot of army back here. My militia, my old guard, a couple of fusiliers. 
my Dressur's HOVAL are basically in the front line at this point. And that's when I start get firing. Get fired at by these um light foot German Legion. And my men slowly make their way into the line. And we start firing back at them. Right away, sir. This is the side of the map that I honestly wanted, but he just got an obvious advantage over me on that hillside. A huge, massive bridge from the rear. Basically, it's a, a square off Ottoman versus this British player. By a lot of combat, it's started now. Kind of fire it at them in the flank by these stupid light foot, which he's gonna make as if they're so precious the whole entire battle. I keep on getting basically team killing my own horses at this point. Both units are true. Although stupid Jasur's H of Al just fired to the backs of their own men and just killed themselves. The whole entire battle. And these Volta Gears have taken up. Space with spikes, we like to call those. Those spiky sticks seem to have uh, impaled my horse, sir. That is terrible, sir. That's just terrible. I'm basically getting killed from the flank here. My Jasers and Chabal are gonna fall to the light foot and these 88th Cannot Ranger. Basically, kind of getting overwhelmed. Our men numbers. are running, sir. So there they go. One of them. As I was just about to put down stakes. I get charged by Cav. And unfortunately, some of my I think no, actually no, my was in the air. This wasn't paying attention. Well, actually, no, I did get him into a square. Just I just get overwhelmed by the enemy Cav. And some people know the strategy of once they turn to a square, go to the other one. Once they turn to a square, go to the other one. Basically, down the whole entire line basically what happens right here. My bolted gears just get killed and then second unit charges in. Don't get them into the square unfortunately so they're just gonna get slaughtered by the cab. The odd man has basically pushed back this British player which saw was a good majority of his army. See the bloodshed around here. It's moved from right here this area, it's all the way up here. So now the British player now retreating basically into the town, I believe is what happens. Is that cab charge still happening? Being shelled by howitzers. Oh, I guess I did end up routing one light foot, still with one remaining, which is going to be become a problem. Still in square against these British cab, which are going to fall right now. Due to, I mean, only five men. Our men are running, sir. And that's when I charge him. My last unit of cab, I think. Yeah, I don't really see any more in reserve over here. Charging into the light foot. Kind of catch these Cannot Rangers. I kind of leave my men into a square. Unfortunately, as I wasn't completely paying attention at the point. It's the Ottoman player Morris is just completely engulfed. This British player is overwhelming force at this point. Despite a few of my units have already almost pretty much routed at this point. I've lost like two Volta Gear. Uh, yeah, I've lost a Volta Gear unit. I'm about to lose a Fusilier of line. And I'm just basically. Our oh, men are running, sir. Are going downhill. So there goes that Fusilier. As it's broken, it's going to come back, but it's not going to take a while. So here comes like a third cab unit, which I don't know where it came from. And it's just like, seriously. 
I'm trying to charge the six inch howitzer, but unfortunately, that, that unit's gonna turn into a square, and for some reason my man is basically gets stuck on the square and never wanna move out of the way, even though I told him to move over. This never did, and they just basically end up getting slaughtered by that unit. And it says right now in the power meter that we're winning. It's not gonna turn out to be that way. Shortly enough. It's basically, I've already lost about four or five units at this point on my flank. You already see the bloodshed that has happened. See, told my men, move over here. It took about five minutes for them to do that, and I told them to charge into the five inch howitzer. They don't do that. They literally run right back into the square like a bunch of idiots and basically get slaughtered by this foot guard. And they kind of get shot while they're standing there, so it's just not pretty at all. So I'm being fired at from behind by the King's German Legion. Right foot. You can see where my line was. You can see where it's also fallen. Unfortunately. You guys can tell I'm lagging just a bit. There's a lot of men for this game to my video card to render. My graphics card. Our men are running, sir! It's like, I was not sure to H of L to that square. And idiotically anything. Is we killed one, one guy. One goddamn guy. Where even is he? I know he's right. There he is. Under the cannon somewhere. So I fall my line back to the farthest place on the map. Just kidding, I didn't go that far. But uh, yeah, I fall back the line. It's like, I'm gonna end up moving up a couple of my units soon enough. So I try to move this unit along the flank just to get flanking fire, but of course, these Kanat Rangers and Light Footer is gonna obliterate them. It's the combat in the town. Taking place, these bolt gears are falling quickly. We have killed their general, sir. Now they must break. Oh uh, yeah, that was, that was a general charge right there. Dirk Spench, which I think he left the game at some. I think he pretty much left the game at some point. I think he was the Great Britain player. He left the game. I think he was dropped, unfortunately. So. Yeah, it's one more AI player. I charge my line up again. That unit is basically getting slaughtered at this point. Because I forget to make them run for the first five, like 200 feet, and they just get slaughtered. You can see where the original French line was. It's just around right here. As you guys can tell, that my allies are pretty much overwhelming Dirk Spence. I forget the name of this other guy already. <laughs> you can see this guy's playing cat and mouse at this point. So it's gonna, he's gonna do a lot of damage to my line while doing that at the same time. Should be getting ready to move some of these men up soon. Some of these foos in the ears. General staff just sitting there looking proud. Uh, Our men are running, sir! Oh, well, there goes some... That was my last unit of Volta Gears. But I do think they come back. Obviously not lasting long. As he pushes forward... Is this unit just gonna get slaughtered? Because it's kind of... Flanking fire. Plus it's in a bit of a reduced angle. Plus it's like footer just being little turds. At this point. Is um, Morris just starting to flank? Around the British players, it's gonna take them a while to get there. Should have just charged through this hole. Our men are running, sir! And there goes that Fusilier of line that was being flanked by the stupid light foot. So he's basically getting annihilated while not getting too many kills at the same time. That's where I wish I still had some Chasseurs H of Al, but unfortunately I wasted one of them on a square and the other one. Other two I just waste on trying to eliminate some light foot. Still what I'm trying to eliminate. This is when I bring my militia up and two other Fusilier of line units. 
basically all I have left of my regular infantry besides my elites, which are, you know, two old guard, one young guard, which are going to become useful later in the battle, but at this point, it's they're not really in a good position to be used. Waste is what they would be if I used them right now. Is um, It looks like Morse is going to end up killing the French general, or he's almost killed him. There's, there's the general right there. I was not dead. Come on, Ottoman. There's a general right there. Shoot him in the face. Still not dead. Oh. And it looks like he'll get away. But he has routed, so the enemy, gen the enemy general has faltered. It's my... Allied smack my yak is basically pushing up on these French units. It's, I had to fall my line back again. Those bolt gears came back. That's when I start bringing those units up. That flank is going to continue to be a problem. Sometimes I wish I bring artillery, but sometimes when I do bring artillery, they just go to waste. Is my allies are basically taking the town with ease, and I'm just having problems trying to take on this British player on the flank. That's why I'm saying this is not my best strategic game at all. Because I just have to keep falling back and falling back and falling back. This is usually the easy side if you get there in time, but it's not proving to be that way this time. Basically, my allies are mopping up the town. It's like everything's routing quickly. Dirk Spence's AI units just continue to charge. See the slaughter of the Highland Foot in this area. It's basically the British have been slaughtered. General Morris. They're bringing the line back up once again. So at least try to do some damage to the British. He has so many units left. I mean, he has Coldstream Guards, Foot Guards, their foot. I mean, look at these reserve units that he has. Then he has all these units pressing on these, he has these two units pressing on my flank. Which is gonna obviously been a problem this whole entire battle this flank. And he's just gonna hold that hill the whole entire time. The whole entire rest of the battle is pre pretty much gonna hold that hill. My allies are, like I said, mopping up the hill or this village. <laughs> Catch myself. It's taking One this of our town. Right there. there go my Volta Gears. Volta Gears have out of Nope, nope. It's actually my first leader line. I should have done is basically prepped a flank here. I kind of did, but even if I did, would have done that, he would have just retreated back. You see, the power meter went from here to here in a matter of maybe 10 minutes. That's how far the battle has gone, and it's already dropped that low. Is my my allied Hunnaman player, Morris, has just outflanked everything possible. And now charging the Grand Battery of Convention. A couple of enemy units have decided to return. For the most part, France player and the bridge player slash AI have um, lost the town pretty much. Well, they haven't, they haven't completely lost the town. There's still a decent amount of fighting left. But it's already looking not too pretty in the town. I'm just hoping for a miracle on this flank is this somehow the bridge player is holding off of this much. He just seems to get more shots off more quicker Our than what my units do. So that militia unit just routed with 88 men. Of course, well, I have terrible morale. As I'm kind of at this point waiting, somewhat patiently waiting for my allies to finish taking the town. So they can come and help me on the flank of the British player. And this old guard charges in and comes and takes these buildings, like, with ease. Because somehow that King German Legion foot is just going to come around and do nothing at this point. A couple of my, couple of my allies' routing units. 
This is when I start to Our form men are running, sir. In another new flank at this point. As basically my reserve units have now turned into my main line. It's everything I, that I've had so far is routed. Swear out of them. Allies just basically taking the flank. As you guys see, there's not much left of the enemy in this area. I mean, one building, three units that return, a couple, four, that's what it looks like now. Four units that returned from routing, and then these two elite units, and that's all the remains of what force in the town. And my allies still have a considerable amount of their army, but these old guard and young, this old guard and young guard are gonna put up some decent fight. Yeah. So my main line pushes forward, tries to take on the bridge, and this unit gets charged by the 80th Canot Rangers, of course, trying to falter my line. They couldn't get a shot off, unfortunately. Is my Three remaining units, the old guard, one young guard, just sit there waiting for the call in a battle. So fortunately, so fortunately for me, the battle's already looking like it's getting dimmer and dimmer every five seconds. I should have charged up the o couple of units. I mean, I kind of did this with a returning Fusilier of line, but it's not going to do much to help the line that already routed there. It's like retreat the line once again because I'm getting obliterated by the British somehow in some way possible. He's just playing cat and mouse which is extremely freaking annoying. Because those elite units of the old guard and young guard took this building like I was talking about earlier. It's basically just trying to fend off whatever remains of the enemies in this town. My allies. Should have done it just fallen back and just held this hill, but I had to push forward again. Again, I say. And basically reform the line that has been here about five times. And has fallen back about ten. Is it starting to look grimmer and grimmer for my allies being able to help me take the area from my enemy specifically because whatever remains of the enemy French is just they're retreating behind me. my enemy's line British it's the Ottoman units taking place into the trees so they finally took the Morris finally took that building Fortunately, still has a general, but these, these stakes are going to become a problem in a couple minutes. See, I'm still keeping the hill at this point. I'm moving my guard units pretty much at this point. I only have three units. Three real units right now, besides my elites. That's all I have remaining of my main body of army. Which is based off a militia unit, a really depleted Fusilier of line, and a slightly depleted Fusilier of line. That's a terrible army setup right there, and that's a waiting disaster. This is my friendly Obman just trying to take what's Our kind of fine. As there goes Morris's general on the stakes. So you just slowly let him walk into the stakes. Bye bye, General. Yeah, there was a good little chat about that in um, the multiplayer game. Chat. Actually, it wasn't too heated. He just got was like, "How did my general die?" or something like that. I can understand why he could be angry at that. So my allies finish up the town. They literally have all but a full British army to go up against. It is. Smack my axe sends in his Polish legions. Is they just basically are gonna end up getting charged from behind by this these old guard and young guard, but first they're gonna take this building and then they're gonna charge him in the back. Within about a ten minute radius. Is my enemy British players just
getting ready for the, um, the enemy. side attack from my ally. Smack my ack. A couple of his men have died in trees. My allies are basically just preparing to come take on the enemy or whatever remains of the British player, which is a lot. And if he wouldn't, if Morris would not have lost his general here, he that whatever had whatever he had of his forces may have overtaken the freaking British player that I'm going against, and that's when I make my push forward again. Which is not going to do much damage at all. It's just going to be like a meat shield at this point. They're just going to get slaughtered and just die instantly. As I gained four F, like six FPS, I just noticed because of how many men have died already. That's glorious. You guys knew the, noticed the new smoothness in the video. Blame that on the amount of men have died so far, which is a whole heck of a lot. These guard units. And that's when they charge out from behind. So that unit routes instantly. All they have left are these two Fusiliers. And my army's pretty much toast besides the guard. My army basically got obliterated t 10 minutes ago at this point. That's what I feel like it's been. Apparently, Morris is getting ready to take on the British. So the, our French ally has a couple units remaining, not many. Those two Polish Legion in the woods, which just are now getting charged by that old guard. And he has one Polish Legion and an old guard, and he's these two Polish Legion in these woods. So they're going to get actually shot from behind, it looks like. The Polish Legion did change direction to face them. Just these old guards just obviously gonna overpower them in every way. That's when I get charged by the Super King's German light foot. And that's when he charges in his flank and just obliterates me. So I'm kinda just trying to keep my flank from just collapsing, which it already kinda has. Somehow this foot unit is gonna take out Morris's units with no problem. And then here, basically, my ally got charged. He's gone. And I finally route this King's German Legion light foot, which took forever to do. See, most of the bodies on this battlefield are French. I mean, seriously, in this this area right here. It's all but French. There are British bodies, but it's not looking to be. In the town, it's just based of everything that was in this area. Ottoman, British, French, or Ottoman. It's just spread out everywhere. And he, his general kind of came back. Just, he's technically dead, so he's just going to sit there the whole entire rest of the battle at this point. And that's when I start moving my guard units up. Is smack my act told me to s utilize them at this point. So I'm gonna fast forward just a bit because I know it's getting a little long, a little long. As fortunately, it seems that it looked like he broke through the British line. Morris did. Kind of charges his foot, probably because he's out of ammo. That's pretty much the whole majority of his army right there, charging. And my ally basically gets... Actually, no, he, he defeated the old guard over here, is what it looks like to me. The old guard, one of them, well, no, his young guard were defeated, but I think he, no, yeah, he retreated his old guard. So that's all the remains of that French player. So I'm just kind of trying to keep the flank going. This old guard's going to start firing up on these guys. My old guard just sit here looking pretty up on this hill. So our friendly Oddman players is not doing too good in melee against 
He's British. His air goes one of his units. May have stayed longer if his general had to have died, but most of his units are just gonna route right now. Literally all of them. Our men are running, sir. It's one of those units. Ah, that unit that doesn't surprise me at all. This unit's just gonna end up starting to get slaughtered because it's getting flanked completely. Yeah, I wasn't too proud of this battle and how I commanded it, but I really had no choice in the matter of how this um, battle completely went due to how the, the flanks and all the hills were. Is yeah, there goes this whole entire army right there. A hundred men right there, just routed. All due to the fact that he probably, probably cause his general died. His whole entire army. If this general was alive, they would have probably all made it a lot longer than that. is that's when I move up my guard units to at least try to start putting some hurt on them but there's a lot of British left and it's just not gonna these old guard are just gonna just stand there and take some shots for a minute so I'm starting to move my young guard over which has already taken a few losses due to the light one of our units foot. has used all its ammunition sir. Is, um, yeah I'm gonna have to end up charging this who's there of line which is just gonna route before it even hits the enemy line at this point there's a nice howitzer shot that's just great so we got a couple of my men Here we start firing on this foot and of course he routes Tuck and roll, tuck and roll, tuck and roll, tuck and roll is pretty much what happens right now. Tuck and roll, tuck and roll, tuck and roll. Just kind of trying to move them forward a bit more. So my young guard is going to keep firing up on this hill, but fortunately it's not going to go so well. Our men are running, sir! So with a few remaining smaller British units, there isn't really much for them to oppose by. Because the Ottoman player has nothing much left to put into this battle. It's only relying on me and my old guard, which my old guard unfortunately is going to get charged here, so it's not going to do too much more damage. And my young guard gets charged by the light foot. See, we're still kind of shredding the foot units that did charge the old guard, but old guard did get reduced numbers of just a just a bit. So my young guard still still trying to survive. Finally routed that light foot, that just gave me problems the whole entire battle. So unfortunately, cold stream guard is going to end the young guard's pride. And then. General staff charges in at me. Kind of providing some flanking fire on this foot unit. This foot guard. Is the Ottoman friendly Ottoman player just kind of charges in here against the um, this foot unit? It's out of ammo. My old guard is going to end up shredding these foot guards. Not really shredding them, but the flank is just falling quickly. They kind of get charged by this foot guard, unfortunately. My Ottoman ally just can't do much more at this point. He's just gone. He's almost non existent. Because yet again, these cold stream guards are going to give me problems. I'm going to completely flank my young guard and just slaughter the whatever remains of them. And then my old guard rattle those foot guards. 
somewhat kind of trying to... So I'm trying to kind of hold the flank at this point. And I've already routed a decent amount of them, it's just... How long can they hold on? Which how it ends up being. So my little guard once again gets charged, and then my young guard gets charged. Yay! That's... That's just great. That's just great. Our men are running, sir. So there goes the young guard. So my remaining old guard is going to end up getting completely slaughtered in melee combat. They did do some damage, but they're just going to get overwhelmed in melee. Light foot return. Then we killed the enemy general. Oh, it's probably because he charged in melee. That's why I noticed my general starting to get targeted by his artillery. Our men are running, sir. So we did route one foot unit. My old guard's still fighting valiantly, but not for long. It's a good more amount of British died on the field, but still with a lot remaining at this point. With a former small army, cold stream guards, whatever remains of the Connaught Rangers. So about two units, mildly elite. I'm gonna fast forward it. This is just gonna fire canister shot into the Oddman. Just gonna end up routing them in a second. So all the units are gone except for my general staff and my allies' general staff. It's all that remains of the armies. <laughs> Literally, that's all. That's that's nothing. This is going to take a while before we really decide to do anything at this point. So I know when I charge my general around the side, I was always going to start going up this hill. kind of want him to go up the hill, but he's going to end up going around the side of it for some reason. Or he was. He just decided to actually go up. The British player retreats his men and forms a square. With both of them. It's like the end of the Battle of Waterloo at this point. So my Allied general just charges into the square with Our oh, brave ally has fallen, sir. So I am the only one remaining with any sort of men on the field, honestly, that can do anything. This general is just gonna die valiantly. And that's when the Connaught Rangers kinda try to flirt my plan to take out the artillery. But for the most part, the artillery is gonna get eliminated, but it will return and become a problem. Somehow it did return, with only about six men remaining. That's all that are gonna die. Exactly six men. I charge my general off. Getting ready for a valiant charge, which isn't gonna, gonna really happen for a couple more, like five more minutes, even though I'm fast forwarding. These artilleries, artillery horses going up the hill, like horses kind of slid through the ground. This one was like, you wanna valiantly charge into my bayonets, is what I believe his question was. See, if he had his general, that unit would have came back. And most of them would have came back. <laughs> My poor general staff unit just going to stare into the distance. 
And then that's when I charge them in. Final charge. And it kind of clips to the tree. They make their way to the line. So they're not even going to be able to fire a shot because they're all out of ammo. But he's essentially just going to get obliterated the square. That is basically the end of the battle at Aosta Valley 3v3. Our men are running, sir. Thank you guys for watching. This. We're going to hopefully get a statistics list in a second. But, yeah, there we go. Does it? Statistics list. As um, the British player did lose quite a few men. I lost. Actually, I deployed the most, but still lost the most. Unfortunately, so my Jasir Javal did a lot of damage. That Fuzli or Blind did a lot of damage. 106, 107 kills. And this old guard did 254, 158. So yeah, my guardians to do some damage, but I guess I'll end that there, you guys. See you in the next Napoleon Total War, any video on my channel. Peace.